I'm sure everybody has heard of Lumion, but did you know that there is also Lumion View? This is a powerful Revit plugin that is made for quick design feedback, client walkthroughs, and fast visualization during the design phase. Being a Revit plugin means that it's integrated into Revit fully, so no need to export or link projects. It's also focused on real-time rendering, meaning that you will see instant results when you're testing changes in Revit. This video will be a step-by-step -step breakdown of Lumion View workflow in Revit. Let's go. Now, as I said, this video will be about Lumion View. You probably know about Lumion. It's a very powerful software and you can use it to take Revit models and then create some amazing renderings, adding context, adding uh, a lot of content in like uh, furniture, people, cars, trees, vegetation, and so on and so forth. So that's really good. It's standalone software. So you link it with Revit or you import a Revit model and then you start your work and in a lot of companies the workflow is like that where these are kind of separated where you have architects uh, working on uh, just inside of Revit on the model and then you have architectural visualization experts working in Lumion on those linked or imported Revit files and that is a very powerful workflow but now instead of us architects kind of being stuck with just regular Revit rendering which isn't really good let's be honest now we have Lumion View which is built into Revit and we can use it as architects to visualize what we're doing. We can use it on client presentations. We can use it to test out uh, what our project will look like uh, during the year in terms of a solar study and so on and so forth. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step, uh, workflow in Lumion. I'm also going to be showing you all of the tools and features and how to use it. Uh, now, if you would like to check out Lumion view, I'm going to be leaving a link up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. I encourage you to check it out and get it and follow along with this video. And full disclosure, this is a sponsored video. Now, without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. Uh, now I'm going to be using this uh, project too from our beginner course as an example. I have just added a pond here to increase the kind of uh, tranquility of the scene. Uh, and now let's get started. Uh, so when you install uh, Lumion View, you're going to notice that we get this Lumion tab. And then here we have the Live Sync for Lumion Pro. And next to it, we have the panel for Lumion View. Uh, now, before I open up Lumion View, I just want to navigate to a more representative 3D view. This is just the, the working 3D view. However, I have this perspective uh, 3D view that I want to use. This 3D view one, as you can see, looks a lot nicer, very representative, and yeah, let's use this one. So now I'm just going to go to the Lumion view panel and click on start Lumion view, uh, which is going to do exactly that. Now, when Lumion view starts, I'm just going to tile it here off to the side of the screen. I just find it to be uh, a bit easier to, to work with. Uh, and then I'm just going to navigate around this view. Now, what you may have already noticed is as I'm zooming in and out of the view itself here in uh, Lumion view, uh, we're also kind of navigating around the scene. Uh, now, of course, we can uh, navigate around the scene ourselves. So what we can do is we can just hover over uh, the, the window for Lumion view and then you can zoom in and out or scroll in and out to zoom in and out. You can click on the right uh, click and then you can kind of look around. You can click on the mouse wheel and then you can pan around and you can use the shift and right click to orbit or you can hover over the view cube and then you can uh, hover around the view uh, there. So just like that. Uh, also, uh, view cube is pretty much the same as the view cube here in Revit. So as you can see, when you click on the sides of that view cube, it's just going to navigate to different uh, parts of your uh, of your project or different angles. So it's just going to kind of orbit around for you, which is quite cool. Uh, next to it, uh, we have a couple of buttons. So the first one is to disable camera sync. So 
uh, as I've shown you here, when you click in Revit, it's going to sync up with Revit. And then if I change this view in any way, uh, like so, you can see that uh, Lumion view is going to uh, essentially follow that because it's synced up. Uh, of course, we can disable the sync. So what I have noticed is in most cases, you wanna keep the sync turned on. However, in specific cases, let's say you want to make a quick change to the model, you want to move it around, you don't want to move the scene here in Lumion view, then you would disable the camera sync. Also here we can switch from perspective to orthographic and back. So uh, if you need orthographic view, this is what you can use. Okay, moving forward, let's now talk about these buttons here on the top. So here on top, we have uh, we have uh, three buttons. The first one is the environment, uh, and then we have the ability to create a sun study. So what this allows you to do is uh, it allows you to use two sliders to adjust the time and date. So the first one is for the time, as you can see when I move it around, uh, kind of the sun moves around or the time moves around, I guess. Uh, so you can see how your project would look like in different times of the day, but also you can see what it would look like at different times of the year. So you can going to go around and see at different months. So for example, in February, what our building would look like. Uh, this is really useful if you're doing live presentations with a client, uh, then th this can be very powerful uh, because Lumion View is real-time rendering. So any change that you make, it's happening in real time. So if you have your client sitting next to you or on a, uh, on a video call, uh, you can easily uh, show them at different uh, times, different dates, what their project or their building would look like. Uh, then below that we have the sky settings. So we have one slider for brightness. Uh, now I prefer to keep that kind of cranked all the way up. And then we have the cloudiness. So for example, if you want more clouds, uh, you can crank this up to the right, or if you want less, you can kind of go back to the left and so on. Uh, finally, we have the solid background option, uh, which just allows us to replace the sky with a solid background. You can even pick a color that works for you if you want, uh, but uh, I prefer to use just the sky. I think it looks very nice, so I'm just going to go with that. Uh, moving forward, let's now switch to visual uh, styles. Uh, so here, I'm just going to can zoom out a little bit and yeah, we can try a different look here. You can see the water has been recognized very nicely uh, from for this pond. And yeah, yeah, looks looks very nice. And that's all in realistic. So in realistic view mode, it's going to look well realistic. And I think it, it looks uh, really good for for this type of project where you have a lot of detail, realistic looks very good. And then you can even turn on the uh, show edges option. Uh, and for the show edges, uh, what you can do is you can uh, adjust the color of the edges. So as you can see, the edges will appear and then you can say, okay, which color of edge I want to see. You can even pick out uh, a custom color if you want. Now, personally, I, what I've noticed is for more kind of conceptual uh, projects or projects that don't have that much detail, the show edges or the edges option uh, enabled looks very good. When you have a lot of detail, as I do here, uh, I prefer to just keep it turned off. And then we have the conceptual. Now for conceptual, before I show you that, I just wanna show you how uh, when we go back to Revit here and if we make any changes to the model, so even if it's a quick kind of in view temporary change, like if I turn on the section box, for example, and then I lower that section box and something like that, and then I, I might even orbit around a little bit like so, as you can see, the change will apply here in uh, Lumion as well, or the Lumion view as well. So if I uh, perhaps move this up a little bit, maybe move these walls a little bit higher, yeah, the change will be reflected over here. I can even adjust the, the, the view settings however I like. Now, uh, all of these changes, uh, as, as you can see, are applying in Lumion view. Even if I do uh, a change like temporarily hiding a wall, so I can go here, temporary hide isolate, hide this element, as you can see, it's going to be reflected here in Lumion. So it's all kind of real time and it's just reflecting what you see in Revit. Now, uh, this is the type of view that would look perfect for 
uh, using the conceptual uh, the, the conceptual style here. So when I switch this to conceptual, we have multiple options. So we have clay, wood, styrofoam, and glossy. And for all of these, we have the edges option. So perhaps blue edges with this clay, maybe that looks nice. So it can be a, a, a unique presentation style. And I'm just going to turn this off. And something that you're going to notice, okay, I can switch here to wood, looks very nice. But even when you switch to wood, it's still going to keep the glass transparent. So see how the glass here, the glass on the railing, and even the water is there. So it keeps all of those items transparent uh, while uh, turning everything else to, in this case, wood. So uh, I think this is a very unique and very uh, elegant presentation style. And then of course, for the color, for example, you want to make it a bit warmer wood, uh, you can. So that's how you can adjust that. Uh, you have styrofoam uh, as well. Uh, you can adjust that. So for example, I used very pink styrofoam back when I was in school for my models. So I can try that. And finally, we have glossy, which is uh, currently just white, but yeah, it's glossy. Of course, you can adjust it. And of course, you can go with clay and uh, make that white if you want, but then you don't have the glossiness, if that's something you want and so on. So basically that's how you can create uh, these uh, very nice, very unique uh, views uh, using Lumion view. And then when it's time to render, uh, you have uh, a few options here. So we have first the resolution, which we can set up to full HD, we can go up to 4k. And then for the aspect ratio, we have kind of the classic uh, kind of screen size. So your monitors, your TVs are usually going to be 16 by nine, uh, you have nine by 16, which is usually going to be your phone screen. So it's kind of vertical, and then you have one by one, which can be useful. Uh, this is a rectangular format, for example, if you're posting on LinkedIn or Instagram, this is usually going to be a format that works very well there. So you can just pick out which one you want. So you pick the resolution, the aspect ratio, and then you click on render to file, and you can just render on your uh, computer. I have already done one test rendering. So let's do a test rendering number two, hit save. And uh, let's wait for a few moments to see what that looks like. Now, once that is done, uh, you can see here that it's going to show you your last finished render. You can copy it to clipboard if you want. You can open it up in a folder. So here I've just opened it up on the second screen. I can see it here. So this is what that looks like. As you can see, we have a lot of detail. I'm zooming in quite far into this and it looks very, very nice. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, what a 4k image would look like. And you can also upload it to cloud. Uh, so you can uh, use it later on in the uh, Lumion cloud. And now over here, we have something a little bit different. So this is an interior scene, uh, I've set it to realistic. Uh, and uh, you can see uh, one thing that I want to show you is first the, the lighting. So if I zoom in over here, you can see we have LED light strips on the ceiling, which have been added in Revit. And uh, this is the, the result. This is what that looks like. So any light source that has been placed inside of Revit is going to be reflected here uh, in Lumion. And of course, this isn't a perfect light source, but it does look good. Uh, in general, Revit isn't very, uh, very good with with lighting, but it's nice to, uh, to see that uh, Lumion does take over uh, that job as well. And here we have a light source in the uh, in the kitchen. So over here, so that's, that's what that looks like. But uh, yeah, you can use uh, Lumion view for exterior and also interior scenes and with artificial lighting as well. And then for example, for an interior scene, you can do uh, a, a study with the sun to see how uh, changing the uh, changing the sun or time of time of day will be affecting the interior uh, of the scene. So that's going to conclude this video. I'm going to be leaving a link up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video if you would like to check out Lumion View for yourself and follow along with these steps. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.